There can't really be a place where people go into big buildings and give away all their money just to watch someone flip paper squares on a table. Okay, we are back in Zion. I'm coming from the direction of the of the ranger station where I was finally able to interact with the doctor's bag that was there and uh, through brilliant deduction I reached the conclusion that I, I actually was able to interact with it before but I just sort of decided to leave it there because I wasn't ready to deal with it. And now we are going uphill and there are some geckos behind the corner. I know this because I have already gotten up there for a few times and gotten killed. But since I, I found out that my mic was covered, I, uh, I decided to reload and I mean start a new recording. There they come. Okay, I think it's time to get up close and personal. Fuck. Hmm. Right now I'm thinking we don't really need to go up there. The only reason I I decided to take a look there is because I saw this Whoa! Oopsie Because Bet they don't have anything as nasty as Yao Guai out where you come from, huh? Let's worry about the geckos right now, shall we? The only reason I, I decided to go up there was because I noticed the sign pointing at the ranger station, which I missed before, like totally. But anyway, our main goal is to go to the Narrows to visit the Sorrows, and uh, the game's goal totally um, what's the word? Harmonizes, coincides, um, um, goes together with uh, my own goal. So basically, I, I'd have to take the stuff I've gathered to Daniel, which is good because I wanted to go to see him anyway. Okay, let me eat some more of those sweet pots. I wonder if they if they turn those into a powder that you can use for cooking. I think it's that it's that plant. So the morning glory cave didn't have a workbench in it, which means still need to find a place where I can make some stuff. location that way hmm Oh, 
Oh, there are more. And there has they to be one more. Like or maybe not. Oh, those were our own. Good. 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 Save. Choke gets the firebombs. Up close. And, no. Keeping my distance. Well then. Let's get to trading. Fire! Okay. Let's talk. Good. Good. And you? Yeah, I talk. Yeah, I talk. Repeat. Yeah, I talk. Firebombs for you. Well, then, let's get to trading. Fuck y'all. And what do you say? Yeah, I talk. Yeah, I talk. Location. Wait, let me check. Is that the narrow's entrance? I think it might be. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is. So we will. Oh, what do you know? Now I'm pretty sure it is. Ah, there's a coffee pot for us waiting. Yep. Okay, it uses up some of the some of the uh, brook and uh, brook and sander. So will this? But I, I actually I already have plenty of this. But hey, I'm I'm using it instead of steam packs anyway. So for now. The, it's the hula girl, and I can't pick it up. It's driving me nuts that I can't pick up the hula girls. The spitter plants and the green monster men aren't native to Zion. I wonder where they came from. Okay, so I thought I saw a graffiti here, but nope. So let's leave. Leave our reversed breadcrumbs here. Choke, has anyone told that you're a lousy shot?
Well, okay, maybe maybe he would need a better weapon. But still, I mean, even I can hit some of these things easily. Okay, is this the mound with a name? I think it is. And I can't get up. Come on, I have been up here before. Turnips! Yep, we're in the right place this time. And the morning just kicked in. Yippee! No, I can't remember if the sorrows put traps in water or don't they? Also, finding the entrance that to the narrows. That thing always knows where north is, huh? Even if it can't see the stars. I'm gonna make a manual save here. So, finding the entrance to the narrows is just a start because uh, if I remember that, I would get horribly disoriented in this area. Okay, here's one cave. Sweet flower cave. Was this one where the... Or some, some of the um, white legs showed up? Hey, are you friendly? Um, no. Okay, probably eaten himself to death. I mean, eight. of my navigation troubles. Whoa. Here we go. Come on, don't waste ammo. Came from the fact that I would enter K from one side and then uh, exit uh, from another side. Trial mix, huh? Goody. Have missed so that I before. finally get to explore all those taboo places without the other scouts yelling at me. Can't wait. Okay, so ah, oh, this is not an exit, which is good because I would have wanted to exit from the same way I came in anyway. I'd say it's like two different explorer modes. One is when I want to sort of expand the horizon fast as possible, but the other is when I actually want to go to specific places. And as soon as I start caring where I end up, then then the navigation navigation chaos isn't uh, so welcome anymore. Okay, let's see, let's try to check out this level as far as we can and then get back to the ground. I mean the lower ground. And sort of 
Okay. Okay, so that covers it. Okay, no caves on this level. Hey! Oh, it's dead horse. Good. Uh, I'm gonna try my own uh, keeping track method now. I'm gonna s stay on this level. Good. My temple, how do you speak? You are the one Joshua Graham sent to us. Oh, the Blessings the midwife. of the father in the cave on you. Daniel is waiting for you. Daniel is a wise man and a great friend to the sorrows. He taught me to speak the language of New Canaan, the English from <laughs> the holy books. Yes, the language of the New Canaanites is the holy tongue, for it is the language their sacred books are written in. Like Latin. The father in the caves brought it to them after the judgment, but the ancestors of the sorrows sinned against him. Hmm. They were denied the true tongue. Further, uh, further affirmation that the uh, sorrows descend from Vault 22, partially. Six years. He attended the birth of my third child. It was a hard birth. The river nearly carried my water to the father, and my child's with it. Daniel knew the ways of New Canaan's medicine. He stepped in and saved both of our lives. After the birth, I asked Daniel if he would teach me what he knew of childbirth. He agreed, and so here I am. What would you speak of? Okay. Then I will look forward to our next speaking. I want to hear their language. That compass. Oladu nane. Thing always knows where north is, okay, huh? mixed with Spanish, but not not plain Spanish. It's sort of like a mix of. Uh, it, it actually sounds more like uh, more like Latin than than modern Spanish. Is there a cave? No. Okay. Anyway, I'm trying out my my own keeping track of my movement method right now. So I'm staying on one level and. Sort of keeping my hand on the wall all the time. Right now we are following the left wall. My left. And we'll see how far we can get like this. Check this. Yes, I think I think I did. Okay. Um, did I just get stuck? No. Okay, so we have been here, 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 and now we go here. How far can we go? Oh, there's Daniel himself. Let's talk. The dead horse has told me details about the attack on your caravan. A stranger's sympathy might not count for much, but for what it's worth, I'm sorry. The sorrows will mourn your friends too. They mourn everyone, even the white legs. They have sensitive souls, innocent if there is such a thing. In spite of what's happened, I hope that Joshua and I can help you out of here. But to be frank, we need your help too. Uh huh. Let me ask you some questions first, and then I will give you the stuff. I used to help the Sorrows with various medical problems and general issues they were having, but my bishop sent me here as a missionary. We new Canaanites believe that there is a path to salvation for everyone, and it's important that we set people on that path if they are willing. Ah, oh, that's an important point, if, if they are willing. Because it would seem that the Soros are quite well off as they are. 
Um, I'm kind of embarrassed asking the question because, come on, I know what a bishop is. <laughs> I'm trying to make amends for allowing our problem to become their problem. The new Canaanites, I mean. The White Legs have always fought with us. And with Joshua returning, Caesar has motivated the White Legs to stamp out the new Canaanites entirely. That means the tribes we work with, too. It's already happened. I just want to prevent something terrible from happening to the Sorrows. Yes. But not just White Legs. Raiders, too. Prospectors. Slavers. Anyone who thinks they can exploit the ignorant and the innocent. We lost the Tar Walkers and the Crazy Horns. We did our best, but we made mistakes. We paid for them, but they paid more. I'd like to get out from under that debt someday. Until then, it's enough to stop ourselves from getting deeper in the hole. I wonder, uh, they, uh, they keep referring to New Canaan uh, quite much. Is it uh, possible to actually go there? To remove the sorrows from harm's way. Huh. I have to give credit to the White Legs for finding their way here. Though I imagine many died in the process. But they can't follow us east. Not into the Grand Staircase. They don't know how to live off the land. We head there. We can find some safety. Um, what about the dead horses? Well, okay, I, I guess Joshua is responsible for them. Of course. Father in the... <laughs> oh, right. He's some spirit the Sorrows used to believe in. Watched over them from the caves in the valley. They marked some of the caves around here because they think they'll be punished for going inside. I think as more of them learn the teachings of the new Canaanites, they'll lose their old superstitions. Oh? Oh. <laughs> of course. How stupid of me. They probably also think Mary is the mother and Jesus is the child. From no the wonder painting. they picked up on things so easily. <laughs> I guess it just goes to show how difficult it is to communicate sometimes. Hmm. There's an old saying that goes, If you want peace, get ready for war. You've got me figured half right. I'll shoot dead any white leg that tries to creep into this camp. But it's only to protect the sorrows. The Lord helps those who help themselves. But the sorrows don't know how. Joshua and I, since I got them into this mess, I need to get them out. And exactly how did you get them into this mess? I mean, did the other, uh, did the, the hostile tribes follow you there? Or? There is an important difference between killing in defense and waging war. Even a gentile like you should know that. Joshua is a living Bible of all mankind's <laughs> miseries of war. The debt he has levied through his actions, he repays every day. He is a monument both to God's unending forgiveness and to humanity's unfathomable capacity for cruelty. It's written on every inch of his body. When you look at him, do you only see a man of God? Beneath those bandages, he is burned flesh. As he burns, so does he consume everyone around him. Joshua wants to fight because the White Legs have stoked the naked flame inside of him. You, you see the light, but do not yet feel the heat. I can pray that you never will, but it isn't up to me, and it isn't up to God. It's up to Joshua. Hmm. I wonder if uh, at some point there is a choice to be made. Like who stays and who goes. Let's see. They're hateful savages who live only to plunder and destroy. Their leader is a devil called Salt Upon Wounds. 
War is all he knows. Everything he has, everything that tribe has, was taken by force, raiding, and scavenging. It's said there's no man deadlier at close range. That that power fist of hmm. his has smashed a hundred skulls. Maybe that's true, but so what? It's a low form of leadership. A tribe that knows only war has no future. And so he'll lead them to Caesar. Okay, let's see. I'm quite embarrassed to ask the stupid questions, but if I don't ask them, then I maybe... used to help the song. We... Then uh, perhaps I won't hear some stuff that would be interesting. A spiritual wasteland, yes. We believe that before this life, our souls existed elsewhere. And after we die, our souls will leave this world. During our time here, we have the burden of choice. The choices we make determine where we go in the spirit world and how we will face judgment. New Canaanites believe, as many once did, that God was made flesh here on earth as a man named Jesus Christ. He sacrificed his life to save us. Every sin, every terrible thing that you, me, or any one of us have done for all time was washed away by his blood. We just have to accept his love. That's why we visit the tribes, to spread the good news. For all we know, we new Canaanites may be all that remains of Christ's followers. <laughs> That's actually a better response than I usually get from Wastelanders. <laughs> no offense. Tell you what, there's a lot going on right now, but why don't you take this? Read oh no. It. Maybe you'll hate it, maybe you'll be bored. But if you have questions, assuming we get through all this, let me know. It used to be my job to answer those questions. Maybe it will be again. Phew, how about we make a deal? I don't proselytize you, and you don't proselytize me. Anyway, uh, I yet have to ask the stupid question about Bishop. I used to... Yeah. Bishop Mordecai is... Oh. <sighs> Sorry. Mordecai was my bishop. He was killed by Whitelegs during the attack on New Canaan. He was responsible for our congregation there. I don't know who my next bishop will be, but that's a problem for tomorrow. There are plenty of troubles here for us today. Look, I've got a lot to do here. My Oops, personal relationship, sorry. it's not important right now. Can't see how it concerns you anyway. I never thought I'd be in charge of anything. Don't know why. Bishop Mordecai was old. He had been sick for years. He couldn't walk anymore. It wasn't a problem for the rest of us. <laughs> he made it out to be more trouble than it really was. Just his way, I guess. When the white legs came, he was upstairs. We couldn't get him out in time. The house caught fire at the base and worked its way up. Fast. He didn't die of smoke. I wish he had. Sometimes I wake up and for a minute or two I think all of it was a dream. But it's not. It wasn't. I wish all of this were some fevered vision of what could have been. Instead of what is. What we let happen. Oh, I have to ask this again. Sorry. I used to help this... I'm trying to make amends for a oh, the white okay. that So I guess I of can't course. ask any more about the bishop. But then there was this question about New Canaan. I guess I can't ask that either. Or maybe it led to the same answers then. Uh, oh okay. It's not a subject I'm fond of discussing. It's over and done with anyway. Why are you so interested? True enough. We can't escape it no matter how hard we try. Best we can do is own up. Trust in the Lord to forgive. Joshua was gone. So were a lot of the other new Canaanites. White legs must have been watching for a long while, counting who remained. 
We didn't think the White Legs were a real threat. Maybe it was overconfidence. Maybe sloth. Either way, we didn't see them coming. They attacked at night. They killed without regard to age or infirmity. Armed or unarmed, they beat children to beat them to death in their beds while they were sleeping. And now we're all that's left. Maybe 30 of us. Pride goeth before destruction. Okay. Um... I should be able to address most common problems. What's the matter? <clears throat> yep. As much as I wish people wouldn't touch alcohol or chems at all, I understand. <laughs> Would you like me to help? Have a seat. This may be a bit uncomfortable. Okay. Oh, why did it come back? I'm glad to see you're still with us. How can I help you? I want to give you this stuff. Well, I'll be. I was starting to lose hope we'd be able to get any of this, much less all of it. Tribals are smart, but, well, they're ignorant. <sighs> Letting go of a taboo is difficult for them. So I knew it would have to be one of us. Turns out all it took was a Gentile. <laughs> or, uh, no offense. These supplies are a godsend. But if we're going to evacuate Zion without drawing more white leg attention, I need you to go back into the valley. Specifically? I need you to scout out some locations for White Legs and try to recover a map of Grand Staircase, a wilderness Whoa. area to the east. There's also the matter of the roads. We're going to be heading out of the east side of the park, but I'm not sure the way is clear. Hmm. I appreciate the enthusiasm. There aren't a lot of people in the wasteland with kindness to spare for anyone who isn't kin. Since you've been poking around the valley, you might see more activity from the White Legs. Oh, One great. of the Sorrow's hunters, Waking Cloud, has volunteered to help guide you through the valley. She has a special talent for staying out of sight. After this, it's just a matter of getting everyone out of here safe and sound. And hopefully, you can head back to the Mojave without any more trouble. Here we part ways. I need it back at the dead horse's camp. Maybe I'll see you there sometime. Oh. <laughs> I will. Good going, Akis. was unexpected. But I think I'm gonna stick with it. But I'm not going to... I'm not going to team up with the... Uh, with anyone else right now. solo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Exactly how much stuff am I receiving here? <laughs> okay. Why am I receiving all that? I don't need all that. 
Oh, Chalk gave me back his stuff. Okay, now I get it. So, actually, I am responsible for this stuff. Yeah, all those firebombs. Um. 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 Is there anyone I can... I can trade with? Trade, trade please. Oh, and he gave up this too. Well, I'm gonna wear it myself then. Um, but I still have got way too much stuff. Surprise! So let's see, what don't I need? This I'm gonna keep, because I have quite much ammo for it. But this I don't want. And this I don't want. And this is way too heavy. Damn it, I was not ready for this. give this away then. Okay. I thought this uh, this went together with with the other stuff. If I don't find a uh, workbench uh, soon I will have to drop the batteries as well. Fixer Yeah, no, thank you. Or... Hmm. Well, I know where to get one when I need it. Should have uh, should have left the, the conversation midway and uh, saved and then got to the rest. That's another learning moment. Never ask all the questions at once. keep this or actually it's the best place to leave it here and this 
Oh, I have so much of it. Most stays here. Okay. And I'm still weighing too much. Whoa! I never realized it was so heavy. And this too. Fuck. Keeping this. Leaving this. Keeping this, keeping this, keeping... Bound. Slayer. Keep, leave. Whoa, so many. Leave most of it. And I can pick some more. Pinion, plasma. Most of it. Oh shit. All that ammo is weighing me down and I can't use it. I know I will forget it if I don't bring it with me. Oh yeah, the batteries of course. I'm gonna leave the batteries here as well. And the fire bombs. Okay, that's more like it. And in fact I'm gonna leave doctors back here. All the tour stuff I'm gonna keep. Whoa! Okay, I want to sell this to Joshua. But it's not like I'm headed that way, am I? Hmm, this weighs a lot. I'm gonna take back my this ammo. Okay then, I'm sure I will forget all this stuff. Um, see if I can drop something that helps me to remind it. These are all quest items. What? Something here. Ah, oh, the lead had the weight. gonna have to drop some food. Let's see what is visible. 
these are very small I'm gonna drop several items which I don't know how they look actually oh, I know that I will uh, go ballistic when I see bubble gun so I'm gonna leave a piece of this here one of these, one of these. Fixer. And this looks just like a box. Whoa, this weighs a lot. One of this, then. Um, and some bear meat. Okay. This is a marker. Remember this. Oh, that's how the, all the potions and poultices look. What's that? And I'm gonna make a manual save here. I didn't realize I had uh, stuffed uh, chalk with all this stuff. Okay, but now I'm gonna have to. Uh, I want to continue with uh, my exploring the area. Just because I found Daniel doesn't mean that I should stop that. So, I need to return here, but right now I'll continue my left hand on the wall routine. Oh, and there's a cave. Ah, oh, white bird's cave. Let's see what he talks. Also, I, I wonder if I had found all six of the survivalist uh, caches, would I... Would I have had another dialogue option with uh, with Daniel? Talk. Visions guide you. You listen. <laughs> maybe yes, maybe no. <laughs> okay. Okay, and there was another cave cave here. I'm not gonna enter right now because there were some white legs in it last time I checked. Okay. So far. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I guess I just have to switch sides then check out that side of this level and if I'm not mistaken the crossroads cavern only had one entrance one exit Hola, do nane. okay hola hello do nane. it's like hello to you oh did he did he just give me stuff Did I put this here? Nope. I think it's somebody's stuff. Oh yeah, I wanna check out my new attire. Oh yeah. Babe's gonna look a bit elliptic. Half mouse cave. Okay, I can only 
go as far as this. And one thing I wanted to do. This goes on six, this goes nowhere right now. Let's put this on four. And let's put this on three. And equip. But I, I just... Yeah, I think I mixed up the keys. their home cave. And that leads outside. And what about here? But right now I want to exit uh, where I came in from. Katubiu, Nayu. Oladu Sagasi. Hello, you something. Let's talk more. Got to be you, not you. Oladu Sagasi. Tell me to interrupt you eating. Got to be you, not you. To be you, not you. I think he's either wishing me well or asking how I'm doing. Oladu Sagasi. I'd have to hear some more samples. <laughs> Boy, this sounded nerdy. Okay, uh, let's see if I can access more areas just just going from here. Uh, there was one cave and there was the other cave. And this is where I couldn't go further. Yep. And this is where I came from before. Daniel said that I was to travel with you until you have completed your scouting. Is this pleasing to you? <sighs> the lone big horner is the most vulnerable to its enemies. In the herd lies strength. If you reconsider your choice, I will be here. Paz Patasuba. Okay, now she wished me peace. Patasuba. Uh, uh, I still can't figure out uh, the language. Huh, it will seem that I can only access the rest of the areas uh, through that cave. Okay, so back to the half mouse. Hmm, actually, I 
Actually, do come with me because uh, she might talk. Have you reconsidered allowing me to travel with you? She might uh, speak uh, useful stuff. Certainly. We should make haste then. And I'm gonna make a manual save here. Mouse cave. Talk. Olado Sagazi. Olado Sagazi. I'm sure that uh, what Sagasi stands for will uh, will strike me in a very inappropriate moment, like mid battle or something. Oh, let me give you some stuff. If something of mine will help you, take it. I hope you would do the same for me. I can give you. Some, I'm pretty sure if you have some detour in your inventory, you're gonna use some yourself. Food for you. Oh yeah, gonna give you some fun some more fungi. Just a person to hold uh, she's in brace. Wait, it was the other words embrace of she, not she's embrace. Um, or was it? Fuck, I don't know what, what it was called. Oh, I put it in. Now I know. I put it in the pot. I wonder if she'll accept it though. Talk? Oladu Sagasi. I can't shake the feeling that Sagasi means uh, something not entirely flattering. No, I, I don't want to sleep right now, even though I probably should. the fire bombs to her and grenade launcher to her and she's in brace okay will you accept it if something of mine will help you take it 
I hope you would do the same for me. I don't think she put it on. Not like, not that I can tell because it's, I think it looks uh, the same as the other Yaogwai gauntlets. And what does oh, Nane mean? Guide and protect us, your humble children, as we labor in the vineyards. And make us strong to resist those who would steal Zion from us. Uh, Daniel, I think we have a problem. I mean, you have a problem. I don't think they want to leave. Okay, let's explore this valley some more. So, here's someone's, uh, someone's bed or shack. Someone's kitchen. Water. Fresh water. Oh. Phew. I was sure I would get stuck here. Okay, and I can get up here. And what about when I'm up here? Where can I get from here? I think I couldn't get up here. No, I did. Yay. But I think that that was it. Let's see. There is one more shack over there, but I don't know how to get there. Except that there are some walkways. And Possibly some caverns up there. Oh, she jumped somewhere. Oh, and there's a path going there. Should have left her waiting. Uh oh. Getting stuck here. Oh, oh. Okay, let's speak. Katubiu. I do. A fine husband and three children. I miss them each day, but I take comfort in knowing they are safe. When we learned that Salt Upon Moons had defiled Zion with his presence, Daniel ordered the children, hmm. the old, and the sick evacuated from the camp. My husband volunteered to lead the hunters that went with them for protection. I try not to worry about them, but we have had no news for so long, and Daniel seems sad when I ask him about it. Sad and a little frightened. Perhaps he will. I sometimes feel he thinks he must protect me. If he has news, I would know of it. Okay, anything else? Oh, an actual quest. Then I will look forward to our next speaking. Now, if Daniel is holding back information from her, then I suppose it can't be good. Oh, we can get to that bridge over there. Oh, and here is another bridge. Try 
Uh, crumbs, breadcrumbs reversed. And the trail ends here. Hmm. Oh, and here was another cave cavern. <coughs> Damn it. Oh, yeah, and I think there was an invisible barrier here. Okay, let's go in this cave because I think there was a workbench here. she comment on these caves she sure isn't as enthusiastic as chalk to move around okay have to disarm these what about the mine here oh, okay disarmed as well seen many strange plants in the valley. Uh -huh. Plants that seem to hunger for human flesh. Mm -hmm. Where they come from, I do not know. They come from your ancestor's vault. You know. Can't I make any booze? Pretty sure it's the Who's making thingy? <gasps> A cliffhanger here. What will happen when we enter the cave? I mean, when we go further in the cave. Will there be any disarmed trap? What will the cloud say? Okay, pausing the recording here and we'll resume in a second. <laughs> 